give me just a few minutes of your time and I will give you the five most actionable techniques that you can implement to drastically increase the conversion rate on your website so that you can generate more sales with the traffic you're already getting. What I'm sharing in this video helped Influence Hunter bring in over 40 booked calls per week and generate an incremental $3 million in revenue all in just less than 60 days. So stick around if you want to see results just like that. Technique one, optimize your above the fold. Users will form an initial opinion about your website in literally just 50 milliseconds. And if they're not immediately hooked in the first five seconds upon landing on your site, they will just completely exit your site without ever looking back. That is why your above the fold section is complete make or break. The above the fold is the topmost section of your page that is immediately visible upon landing without having to scroll. This is the only section of a website that you can guarantee with certainty that 100% of your users will see. Users don't want to have to hunt for answers. They want to know immediately who you are, what it is you do, and what's in it for me. Optimizing just this one section on your website will result in more people scrolling, engaging with your site, and ultimately converting. So to implement this, let me walk through a real life example. The first thing you need is a benefit-driven headline that highlights that value, the result, or the transformation that people are getting. What is that dream outcome that they care about and why should they care? Then you need to back this up with the perceived likelihood that somebody is going to achieve these results. The body checks should then elaborate on who you are and what it is you do to achieve the results or benefits that you just mentioned in the headline. You need one single call to action that is large and stands out on the page, as well as an image that helps to reinforce your value prop and illustrate what it is you actually do. Lastly, you need social proof above the fold, which is anything like reviews or testimonials or stats that is going to help to build immediate trust and credibility. In the before version of our client site, they didn't have any of this. In the after version, we implemented all of these techniques and saw a 100 and 32% increase in conversions and qualified leads. Technique two, remove all distractions. Distractions are an absolute killer for conversions. Take a very hard look at every section of your site and remove all unnecessary elements that take focus away from the one thing it is that you want users to do, whether that's filling out a form, clicking on a CTA button, or buying a product. This follows the concept of the paradox of choice, which is that when you give people too much choice, it equals no choice at all. Every extra option that you give users that is not completely necessary is going to slow down their decision making and ultimately lead them to get overwhelmed. By cutting out the clutter, you make it a lot easier for people to take action. Easy ways to implement this is to simplify your navigation. Have no more than seven items in your navigation. Ideally, keep it focused to the top four to five, focused on your main pages. Next, you want to have a single clear call to action button that is painfully obvious. It should have high contrast and clear text. Guide users to exactly where you want them to go and don't clutter the page with multiple call to action buttons. For a client while men drinking, we were noticing that people were getting overwhelmed by the number of bundle options on their product page, causing them to exit the website completely. Very simple test, we cut down from five options to three. And what we saw was a 53% increase in the conversion rate and a 13.5% increase in the average order value. Technique three, sell benefits, not features. A feature is what a product or service includes. It's a specific attribute or component of a product or service, but features don't excite people. What really excites people is benefits. Benefits are what a product or service does for your customers. So an example could be a camera for an iPhone. The feature is that it has 48 megapixels and advanced night mode. The benefit from that is that I can take crystal clear photos with low light settings and that I can look back on moments and memories that look amazing no matter the lighting. Humans are selfish. They want to know naturally what is in it for them. The trick to implementing this is to focus on your headlines. Statistically, people will only read 20% of the content on your website. The other 80%, they just scan. We like to operate under the framework that imagine if somebody only reads the headlines on your website. Is it clear what your value prop or benefit actually is? For example, for a client inboxy, their old website headline just focused on the feature, which is email deliverability that allows people to land their emails in the inbox for their cold email solution. But if we're to take this a step further using this principle, I want to ask myself so that land more emails in the inbox so that more people will see our offer so that we're able to book more meetings so that we can generate more revenue and close more deals. That is what people care about at the end of the day. And that is exactly what we focused on in the headline. And we saw a 146 
25% increase in the conversion rate. By the way, in this video, there's only so much depth I can go into about all of the things you need to do to boost your conversion rates. Check the description below for a free checklist that you can use and reference, like the exact framework that we used to make high converting headlines, how to identify low hanging fruit opportunities, and real life examples that we've used to help our clients double their conversions and profit just through conversion optimization. Technique four, improve your visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is simply guiding attention and making sure that the most important elements get noticed instantly. It's basically the flow of information from top to bottom. If your page lacks structure, users won't know where to look and they're going to exit your site without taking action. If you take a look at this image here, you can see how your attention is guided to each headline based on the level of boldness, the size, the color, etc. So to illustrate why this technique is so powerful, take two simple examples. Here's the first example where there's very poor visual hierarchy. Everything is standing out to me on the page and the irony is that in trying to emphasize everything, they've emphasized nothing. Now compare that to this example where there's a clear flow of information from top to bottom. Starting with the headline that's bolded and nice and large on the page, complemented by the body text and followed by that nice large CTA button that has a distinct color. So to implement visual hierarchy, I recommend making your headlines at least three to four X larger than your body text. Make sure your headline is bold and stands out as more prominent on the page. Then make sure that your body text is not the same color as your headline. If your headline is black, your body text might be a slightly lighter gray. Lastly, make your call to action buttons large on the page and ideally a distinct color from your text so that it really stands out. We did this for a client where their old website had multiple competing elements, everything from color to font sizing to boldness. So we streamlined that entire flow and guided people People's eyes from top to bottom and what we saw was a 64% increase in the conversion rate and a 52% increase in the revenue per visitor. Technique 5, don't make your users think. The easiest way to increase your conversion rate is to reduce friction and make everything feel effortless. When users don't have to think about what to do next, they're way more likely to take action. From layout to design to copy to functionality, every single element on your website should be easy to digest and streamlined. There's many ways to implement this. One way is to cut large blocks of text into bite-sized chunks through short paragraphs, bullet points, and bolding key information. We actually did this for Fiddler's Green where their old website completely lacked this and we saw a 158% increase in conversions. Another major tactic is to shorten your form fields and reduce friction. First name and last name can easily be combined into full name and you've already gotten rid of an extra field. People statistically hate giving out their phone number. So just by removing that one field for Scrubby, we saw a 92% increase in conversions. For wild men drinking, instead of just highlighting the the percentage that people would save off of their products, we let them know exactly how much money they would be saving and we saw a 25% increase in conversions. Now all that's left for you is to take those techniques and actually go and implement them so that you can improve your site's conversion rate. But there's one issue. Without a step-by-step -step plan, the implementation part can be a bit tricky, which is why in the next video I will give you all of the four steps that you need to build a million dollar landing page so that you can implement all of the things on your website as you go through the video and make your landing page the best it can be so that you can get the most out of your traffic and make as many sales as possible. I'll see you in the next video.